Oh, whew, this is a YouTube, this is the YouTube boxing show of the year. This is probably the boxing show right now. So do you think Richard is ready? I think Richard's more than ready. So babe, it's fight day. How are you feeling? Hey, fight day. I uh, feel good, I feel good. We're here at the hotel, the Plaza, Manchester. Hey, Manchester Arena, we're gonna light it up. Um, as you guys know, KSI is fighting Logan Paul today. It's gonna be epic. I've got my fighter coach Richard I'm fighting on the undercard against JMX. Richard has been training for about just over two weeks. Richard is a very brave guy to take up this competitive fight in just over two weeks training. <laughs> Here he goes, Mr. Moreno. Mr. Red Sox. Look at these, you haven't got them out. Look, they actually look really good. Wait, so we're going for breakfast now. Um, this is like my first proper vlog regarding this fight, isn't it? I'm waiting until the last minute. I'm not too, to be honest, my job is to be a coach. My job is to train. Uh, to train Richard, make sure he's fit, make sure he's ready to fight. I've done my job, he's ready to fight. So I'm gonna vlog now. You know, I don't. I like to focus on one thing. I give 100%, so when I'm gonna fight him. There you go, down. Yeah. Yeah. Sup, peeps, I'm here. We're here. You know what it is. With the chat. Carlos is here. He missed the weigh-in because he went for his haircut and his cow washing. I did actually cut my hair. I actually just skipped all that. Oh, well, he didn't make the weigh-in, but we're here now. Didn't really need him today. We'll need him tomorrow, definitely. But Joel was just shook up today anyway, so he was fine. I was just out there on my ones, looking at him in the eyes, and he just got sh he was so scared. It's over for Joel. The psychology of boxing. Psychology of boxing, people. Let's go, champ! Let's go, champ! What's up, G? What's going on? What you say? It's your boy, I remember Shay. you came to the gym, came to Moreno Boxing Dawson, had a little workout. Workout? A little explosive workout. Well, I got laid on my ass, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's a much deeper mental toughness than I realised, boy. Because I thought, oh, well, it's two minute rounds. Like, we're athletes, you know, we go all out. And I'm a decathlete, so I do 10 events in two days. Mm. But that kind of fitness, it took me into a different realm. That's something that, boy, it's more mental strength than anything else. Rugby it's brutal. You have yeah, to be yeah, a complete yeah, savage. So yeah. to know that you're going to get hit and to have the bravery to keep going at it, again, mindset. Your mindset has to be elite. Your body is going to be an absolute bits in the latter rounds but to still keep going kudos to them guys boy because i couldn't do it i know that for a fact kai riley laborde 110 meter athlete six, six. good friend of richard man i feel good man i feel good for him you know i've seen the training you guys been putting in the gym i've seen all over instagram so ain't no stress man only a w man nothing less we're going home with nothing less Jeez. we traveled too far Jeez. to take anything less than a w so I, I, I get That's that, it. I get that. So listen, I got a question for you, yeah? Yeah. You print all the t-shirts, but then you yeah. want to come on the, on the video naked. What's going on? Explain <laughs> yourself. Riari gang. Riari yeah, gang. Yeah. You designed these t-shirts, right? Yeah, designed it, printed it, um, made it, manufactured it, sourced the material. I want to design some new uniform for my staff at my gym, yeah? So I'm, I know who to holler at. Riari Productions. You guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description. You guys want t-shirts and clothing? Know what to do. Mr. Coach Richard! How you doing man? I'm good bro, I'm good. <laughs> you ready I'm for this good. man? Feeling All that hard training. Good. Feeling relaxed. Sheesh. Feel awesome. Ready to go, ready to rumble. Sheesh! Yeah man, so guys, boxing, tomorrow you see it's more than physical. It's not about how big you are, it ain't about how strong you are. It's about how smart you are. Coach Richard, huh? Babe, you keep talking to me. <laughs> if you keep talking to me, I'm gonna have to show you on camera. That's if you want, listen, shall we just do our listen, own thing? I full feature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shall we just do our own thing? <laughs> Let's do our thing. The hidden treasure. What are you saying? Hey. Hello, guy. Hey, yo. What's so, <laughs> up? Look who's here. Yeah. I thought, oh, that's sweet. The only treasure. The only treasure. I feel awesome. Yeah? I feel relaxed. Sick. I feel focused. I feel confident, I feel fast, I feel hungry, but I feel good. So we're about to get some food because this guy must be starving. You've been sprinting for years, yeah. European gold medalist. Yeah. So talk a little bit about what you did in terms of making weight and stuff. Like, did you struggle? Well, my nutrition is usually, I have to be honest, my nutrition is usually on point. So I tend to eat really healthy just to avoid injuries. 
make sure that I recover well. In the build-up to this fight, I've trained so much and I've eaten so much and I've tried to actually gain a little bit of weight as well because I'm fighting a guy who's 10 kgs heavier than me. My meal I hope Joel's eating well because he's going to have a few broken bones after tomorrow. So. Sheesh! So I'm waiting for Richard so we can have breakfast, right? And I get a message here. This is my girl's phone. I got a message on my girl's phone because like, I'm like, why is Richard messaging my girl? <laughs> <laughs> Richard, so we got a group chat. Why messaging my girl? So I got a message on my girl's phone and it's like, cool, I'm just showering. I'll meet you in 15 minutes. I'm like, <laughs> we need a, like a five table. Yeah, because let's take those two over there. She said we can move in time. Yeah. Good morning, Richard. Good morning. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel awesome. Yeah? I feel great. Good. I feel probably a lot better than George is right now. Really? <laughs> I feel great. Good. My coach, Alice. Oh, hey, Nicola, nice to meet you. Rossi is fighting today, so. Cool. How are you fighting today, yeah? Uh, Rossi HD. Russ HD. Russi HD. A Momo FIFA. Momo FIFA. Yeah, he's got like 1.4 yeah. mil so. 1.4, you've got to take your size. Listen, yeah. this is... This, this. <laughs> dog on dog, innit? <laughs> this should be like, I put 100k of my subscribers on the line. So if you beat me, you get 100k of my subscribers. Wouldn't that be cool if you could do that? Yeah, it'd be cool, but... It'd be good for me, because I've only got 13k. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm in a win-win. Joe wouldn't mind that, you see, because Joe will always take money over subs, so... He wouldn't mind it. He'd rather put his subs on the line than money on the line. I'm telling you that now. Listen, this guy has been on the track. He's been on the track, yeah? Being a competitive athlete yeah, as a boxer, we do a lot of sprints, you know, boxing after do sprints. And sprinting is all about dealing with that lactic acid, mate. That lactic acid there, yeah, will fuck you up. This guy's used to it. His body is conditioned for that. His body is trained for years and years and years and years. His body is going to be so efficient at breaking down that lactic acid. I think it breaks down into pyruvic acid. Am I wrong? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm wrong? No. He <laughs> <laughs> said, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> lactic acid breaks down into pyruvic acid and then the body flushes it out. Just checking how many coffees Carlos has left today. Oh, <laughs> Listen, when I coach a fighter, I feel so good today. <laughs> <laughs> when I coach a fighter, yeah? I coach him and basically I shut up basically and I give the fighter space to work. I just want my fighter to be comfortable and to do his work. I respect my fighter and I want to get the best out of him. So my job is to be like a mirror to reflect back to him um, and to help him see himself in a new light. Oh, I didn't put it. Oh, yeah, I did. I think I'll make a new one. Keep this. Sign this and maybe give it to someone. Keep it and sign it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, do a giveaway. I'll make a new one. Yeah. Well, we do have to fight. Listen, I've seen Richard and JMX spar at my gym. I'm not going to be lie. I'm going to be honest. Richard whoops JMX when they spar. I literally, like... You know, as a coach, when you're watching two okay. people spar, you don't really know them, but you're watching one and you think, oh, that guy's taking liberties with me, I need to tell him to calm down. Boxing, anything can happen. It's tiring fighting against a bigger opponent. It does tire you out. Like, you do, when it, when it comes to push comes to shove and you're there in the inside and trying to push him back and throw shots and trying to back him up, it's more energy that you're using because simply by virtue of the fact of him being a bit heavier. Richard is a strong, strong competitor. Richard is a strong, strong competitor. I'm expecting an amazing fight. Look at the socks, check out the socks. Guys, listen, yeah. Can you show us the socks? Black shoes, red socks. On brand. Black track suits. On brand. Earth beads, um, what, they're, they're tiger stones, I think it's called tiger stone. So the, the idea is it keeps you grounded. Uh, this is this this is I got from Marrakesh, this one here. Um, it's actually, Camel bone, but let me just for disclaimers, the camel died of natural causes. Earth means keep yourself grounded. Fucking hell. Your next job. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, I farted in a bit. 